Now, if you'd seen my last video, I talked about how the stone tools found across Europe makes Neanderthals appear as though they were less cognitively enhanced than Homo sapiens. However, after having a little conversation with my dad, just after releasing that video, he was like, oh, you know, I watched a documentary the other day about how Neanderthals actually had more versatile, in some ways more useful and more difficult to craft tools than homo sapiens and i was like this is really throwing a spanner in the works i'm gonna have to look this up now so i did and it turns out he was right now embarrassingly i'm really late to the party because this study was done in 2008. So paleoanthropologists Metin Erin and his team spent three years recreating these Neanderthal blades and concluded that not only did the discs have more cutting edge, which is always good because I'm guessing that means you can use them for longer, you can slice a bit more, more surface area, what's not to like really. They also generally created less stone waste, were sturdier and more rigid, and less breakable and in some respects were actually more difficult to make than the rectangular blades of homo sapiens which is always good when you consider the neanderthal form of hunting the way that the neanderthals hunted opposed to us as we know they were very short and stocky and had a lot of muscle power so they generally ran up to the prey of choice and stabbed it now obviously something like this is not going to do, that's going to snap immediately. So they kind of needed these sturdy, strong, disc-shaped stone tools to actually pierce the animal and not break. I'd rather be able to reuse this stone tool that I've put all this hard work into than just have to make another one. We're not in a throwaway culture, lads and ladies. I wish. Now a lot of these were very much disc-shaped instead of the traditional rectangular blades of the Homo sapien species. And as it turns out, this is actually almost better than what Homo sapiens could produce. The only advantage that Homo sapiens had were that their skinny little stone tools were much better for attaching to projectile spears, and a lot of them tended to throw stuff at the animals, and therefore, you know, it was a bit more aerodynamic to have these skinny little blades that could just bloop, like a little arrow. Now. Not only did they have great craftsmanship when it comes to actually carving their stone points, but they also created a Paleolithic superglue. There is a site in Latium in Italy where they found evidence of a natural glue on various stone tools. So it was a combination of pine resin and sometimes beeswax, which was heated and then molded around the stone tool to kind of half it onto a wooden stick. And this was about 55 to 40,000 years ago. So, you know, late of Neanderthal, Neanderthal nonetheless. And this shows a really good understanding and ability to manipulate natural environments and to use fire in a highly sophisticated way, much like I'm guessing our species would. However, I don't think this evidence has actually been found among artifacts known to Homo sapiens. So Neanderthal's really ahead of the game in both respects possibly. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Turns out that my original thesis is wrong. I'm full of shit, so there's the lesson for the week. Um, I should be doing a bit of a longer video next time, hopefully. But, you know, full-time work and editing is really taking its toll. Here we are. Here we are. See you next time. Bye!